In this video, let's take a look at the new 3D Viewer from Chief Architect. The 3D Viewer is a free app that runs on tablets and phones that you can share your designs or remodeling projects with your clients. They can visually immerse themselves in the design and get excited about the project before you build. When you have your design completed or in a preliminary stage and you're ready to share it with your client, simply go into the File menu, Export, and 3D Viewer File. Type in your credentials of your email and your password. After you name the file and select OK, the file will be processed and stored up onto your cloud account. When the export is completed, you'll get a dialog that comes up that indicates that it was successful and then you can manage your online account and the models that are up there. Let's take a look. That link opens me up to the models that I have under my 3D Viewer cloud account. Notice that I actually have a hundred different models, 13 of being used. Chief Architect will include three different models for free. Then we have levels of paid packages that you can refer to our website on the pricing for that and contact our sales department. The model that I just exported was indicated in the second position down here. There is a share button. Once I select that, it will generate a share code. You can simply highlight that and email it to your client. You can also generate an automatic email that will have the instructions on how to download the viewer and it also embeds that share code right inside the email as well. You can share various stages of your design whether it's a completed model or a preliminary stage or turn certain layers on or off. In the model that I have here on my screen, I have a lot of different surfaces. We recommend typically your models not exceed 500,000 surfaces. This one in particular is over a million, so I'll need to turn off a few of those layers. I have a layer set that I've created here, and I'm just going to choose the one with no terrain and turn all of those items off. Once the layers that have been isolated that you want to turn off, you can simply go back into the menu, export, Notice that my surface count is still over a million. It'll work fine on higher end devices, but if I need to get that down to a target of about 500,000 surfaces, I'm going to need to remove a few more things. Things like the planters, the dining room set on the outside of the porch, maybe my chandelier has a lot of surfaces. So I'll just target those and remove the surface count and get it down. And again, you can simply click on the link here, open up a web browser, scroll down, find the file that you're after, the No Landscape, use the share code and send that share code out to your clients and they can see that view. Now one more thing, let's take a look at changing our layer set to something like our framing set. This isolates a different component, something you may want to share with your subs. I've also created a layer set that I can use and just create the structural and you can see these components as well. Again, if you want to share that out, we can just go back into the file menu, export, and put that up onto the 3D Viewer Cloud account and share specifically those components that we want with our contractors and also maybe our trust manufacturers. Once you share your models with your clients, they can then open up the Chief Architect 3D Viewer and begin to experience the design. The 3D Viewer interface really comes in two different forms. One is the exterior view, which is the house. Second is the interior view or the room view which has the navigation controls on it. And then there is the high definition and low definition modes. Low definition if you think about Chief Architect is more like a vector view and most appropriate for those devices that may not have as much memory or just giving you a certain view without any of the textures. While you're in the room view, the navigation controls are visible. On the screen are what we call the thumbsticks and also the sojourn controls. Let's take a look at the thumbsticks. One, these are best used with your thumbs. Or if you have a younger client that has a Bluetooth game controller, it can be a lot of fun to navigate that and it's what I use to create this video that you may be watching right now. Above the thumbstick controls are the patent pending sojourn navigation controls. We call it virtual reality without the headset. Let's take a look. First is the dynamic height control. This allows you to zoom up and zoom down while you're navigating through, flying through the design. Next is a physical walk. You can tap that button, it will turn green, and you can physically 
walk through the model. Up in the settings panel, you can control your step distance. If you're taller or shorter, have long legs, you can control that up in the settings panel. The up and down buttons here move the camera up and down. Gyro viewing, if you tap that, it will turn green. It allows you to move the tablet around or your phone around, and it's almost a glass view inside of the view. And finally, off to the other side, far right, is our background camera. You can turn this background camera on and see through the windows. It's a great feature if you're standing out on the lot. You can visually immerse yourself into the design and feel like you're exactly right there in the model. Just like in the Chief Architect desktop software, you'll find a cross-section slider that has six different ways to slice and dice your model to create just the right view. If you want to see the floor plan, you can use the top-down slider, go down to the floor you're after, and create the section view. I've also split it from the right-hand side, and you can use these sliders to control the amount of cut using the cross-section slider tool. The 3D Viewer is available for download today, either on the App Store or under Google Play. Again, it's a free download. Don't forget, we also have the Desktop Viewer. If you have a client that has a PC or a Mac, it doesn't have the same controls, but it's exactly the way Chief Architect runs. And again, that is also a free download and a resource that you can use to share your designs with your client. You can find additional information about the 3D Viewer on our website. I'm on the 3D Viewer page. If you scroll down, there's information about sharing and viewing the models, also about our Sojourn navigation controls, the cross-section slider tools, file management options, and also the 3D Viewer tips that are available. There's a support article and other videos. Have fun and take a look at the Chief Architect 3D Viewer.